Hey guys, it's CY on the land and welcome to my new YouTube channel. This is my new YouTube channel right now and the main purpose of this channel is to reach my audience and I will be discussing examinations, review, uh, how to prepare for your examinations and, and different stuff which could help you in your review or preparation for any type of examination. For those of you who don't know me, I am a lecturer and an author. I have been reviewing here in the Philippines and different countries for 14 years. I have done a lot of things with regards to different examinations, not only for the medical profession but also for nursing, physical therapy, psychometrician, rad tech, med tech, and different entrance examinations such as UPCAT or the PLM mat. I'm here to share my knowledge to my students and to those who need the guidance especially when you're taking a major examination i have a lot of videos in youtube and in my online review alternative but most of them are serious videos in this particular channel i want to be candid with my students and i want to show you different ways in preparing for your examination in this particular channel i will try to post one video per week every friday and you can suggest what type of video you want to see, what type of topic you want to hear, and you want me to discuss. Hindi lang siya pang local board, pwede rin siya pang NPLEX, pwede rin siya pang HAAD, pang DHA, MOH, or any type of examination that you want to ask. Don't get me wrong, I, I will not discuss specific concepts with regards to the review, but I will discuss what you need to hear from a mentor or somebody to motivate you when you're studying without further ado let's talk about the topic for this particular week our topic for this particular week is why will i fail the exam so i will talk about the five reasons why examinees fail major examinations so this is the hard truth that in an examination it's always 50 50 it's either you pass or you fail and a lot of people fail so we will be talking about the bad side as well as the good side failing it doesn't mean the end but failing it only gives you a reason to start again and that's one of the things that I like about failing sometimes failing will teach you more rather than passing the examination I hope that you believe that but I also believe that we choose to fail and we choose to pass so i hope that after this particular discussion you will choose to pass your examination and not to fail so reason number one you graduated with lack or insufficient knowledge in other words wala kang alam dapat di ka na nag-exam kasi wala ka naman palang alam kaya lang marami nag-exam na walang alam now hindi ko alam kung bakit wala kang alam pwedeng dahil hindi mo sineryoso yung college life mo Pwedeng dahil matagal ka ng graduate, tapos bumagsak ka once, tapos hindi ka na uli nag-take. Now, if it's an ideal situation, dapat pagka-graduate ng students, after graduation, they should take the board exam. But the problem is, kaya maraming review center ngayon, it's because of the simple fact na hindi enough yung knowledge ng students. So, kailangan ng review center to bridge the gap. That's the thing about it lack or insufficient knowledge is the number one cause of failure in any type of examination and that is an acceptable fact how do you prevent this particular thing one thing is you have to make your insufficient knowledge sufficient either mag-aral ka mabuti habang nasa school ka o mag-take ka ng review class o mag self-study ka o kaya naman may mas maganda dun sa dalawang yun ano yun mag online review ka kaya pero always remember ha this could be easily solved insufficient knowledge could easily be solved if you will study for it always remember huh the examination is very very important a lot of people consider that when they pass the examination they are lucky but always remember like i always tell my students luck has nothing to do with it 
sufficient knowledge that is one of the first way for you to pass the board examination so that is the first reason why you fail you graduated with lack or insufficient knowledge second reason why you will fail you have the knowledge but did not know how to use it if ever you like to memorize things this is one of the things that will happen to you for example guys you memorize a square and then when you see the examination you saw a hole that is shaped as a triangle so what happens now is you try to fit what you memorize the square to the hole that is a triangle that is a big problem that's the thing about it that's why i don't like my students memorizing i like my students understanding the concept because if you memorize you have definite finite shapes in your mind but when you understand your mind is fluid so it accumulates it forms into the shape of its container that's the reason why I always teach test-taking strategies. Because always remember, hindi lahat ng tanong na-encounter natin. Hindi lahat ng concept may encounter mo sa review. So, kailangan alam mong sagutin kahit na ano pang may encounter mo. That's the basic concept when you're dealing with the examination. So, don't memorize but rather understand. And always remember, it's not how much you know but how you use that particular knowledge. Third reason, you have so much knowledge that you tend to overanalyze. I have a good story about this one. When I was reviewing way, way back in year, okay, I have a classmate in the review center and masyado siya magaling. She loves pathophysiology. That's the basic reason when she answers, she traces a pathophysiology. The ironic thing about it is when the board examination result came out, she failed. So, what happens there? She overanalyzed. And a basic problem sa masyadong matatalino, you tend to overanalyze. Always answer the question lang. Huwag mong itrace hanggang sa mitochondria yun. Kung ang tanong lang, what is the main purpose of bed bath? Sagutin nyo lang yung tanong. Okay? So, don't overanalyze. That's the third problem, lalong-lalo na sa matatalino. Fourth reason why will you fail? You have a different experience. That's the problem there. Always remember that examinations are asking you for the theoretical concept. The grass is always green and the sky is always blue. So, whenever you see, for example, a question, what is the color of the sky? A. Blue. B. White. C. Gray, D, black. How do you answer that particular question? Will you look at above? Titingin ka ba sa taas? Tapos makikita mo, hmm, the sky is white. Okay? So, ilalagay mo, white. Or for example, gabi ka nag exam Pagtingin mo, hmm, black. Okay? Will you answer black? No. That's the thing about it. Always remember that the board examination or any type of major examination is not asking for your experience. It's not asking for what you have encountered. It's asking for what you have read in the book. So the sky is always blue and the grass is always green. Always remember, there are some things that you need to learn and there are some things that you need to forget. And one thing that you need to forget whenever you're taking an examination is the bad experiences. Always go with the theory. Libro muna, hindi yung nakita mo, hindi yung na-encounter mo, hindi yung naranasan mo. Libro muna, yung nabasa mo sa libro. The fifth and final reason why will you fail is you have committed a lot of technical mistakes. That's the bad trip, no? Isipin mo bumagsak ka, ang tagal mo nag-aral, ang tagal mo nag-review dahil lang sa technical mistakes. Maling shading, improper shading, maling ballpen, maling lapis. So that's the main problem there. So always remember when you review, you always think of the technicalities of that particular examination. Hindi pwedeng mag-review ka lang ng concept. Always remember, iisipin mo rin yung technicalities. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Proper shading. Proper answering. Tama ba yung answer sheet mo? Baka naman set A ka, set B sinagutan mo. Bagsak ka na agad nun. O kaya naman, if it's a computer-based, dapat alam mo gamitin yung computer na maayos. 
So always remember ha, technicalities. Kung mapapansin nyo, lahat ng reasons may use sa unahan. Why? Because the main reason why will you fail is because you choose to fail. Sino ang gago ang magsasabing, I choose to fail? Well, you choose to fail. Why? Sino bang hindi pumasok sa review? Sino bang hindi nag-aral? Sino bang hindi nag-take down ng notes? Sino bang umabsent? Sino bang namili ng lecturer? Sino bang nagakala na kapag alam na nung katabi niya, alam niya na rin? Sino bang nagakala na madali lang ang major exam? Always remember ha, wala kang ibang dapat sisihin kundi sarili mo. Kaya you choose to pass, don't choose to fail. Always remember what I always tell my students that the exams will not ask for reasons but rather it will demand results. So don't give reasons. Start now, start studying and see you next week with my new video. By the way guys, I have an online review alternative. You can visit our website found in the description below and it's good for your preparation for any type of examinations that you will have. Bye!